What a lovely day for football. Welcome to you all. Alan Smith alongside me, Martin Tyler for the commentary. The action comes from the MLS. It's coming up very shortly. Los Angeles FC against Portland Timbers. Yeah, thanks, Martin. Well, we've got a couple of teams here that their strengths are attacking, no doubt about it. So I'm sure they'll be going at each other very quickly. Here's a couple of players who you might keep a special eye out for today. Alan Smith's certainly going to do that. Well, I think both of these players should come into this match with their confidence brimming, really, because uh, they really have played well. They've uh, led from the front. Well, we've been waiting for this, the Los Angeles FC lineup. We've got it for you now. Carlos Vela starts a midfielder in good form. Only one up front in terms of an out and out forward. Thank you for And as for the opposition, this is their starting 11. I think that back four is really important for them. They've got to be strong and solid, but they've got a bit of protection, haven't they? They have. They should have more than enough. I mean, they're all good defenders in their own rights, but uh, in front of them, they've got players who are going to be working really hard. Whether they could be a fit on the front foot, we'll wait and see. Xiao. Going forward well. Real opening now. Well, it looked a chance. But it's ended rather tamely as a goal kick. Here's Diego Valeri, Mora, caught offside, maybe an early movement, or the ball was late. Yeah, I think it was maybe the latter, he was expecting and hoping for an earlier pass. Paradis. Mora. Valeri. Well, he seemed to see a pass there that none of us could see from where we're commentating from. Well, down on the touchline, getting uh, the details about that injury is Jeff Shreves. Jeff. The feeling down here is he's twisted his knee. And you can just... Must take the lead here! They've got to make a substitution now for this fella because he's definitely hurt. They can't stop him. And he's opened the scoring with a fine finish here early on. Well, it looks simple, but this lad has got a great instinct of drifting into space, being in the right place at the right time. Let's see the replay now. Oh, look at the manager. He works hard on his team on the training ground, and he's seen some reward for it down there now. So the first goal, it's 1-0. Goal for the hosts. Number seven. Blessing. He fancies his chances in getting past these players. Good position for the cross. Well, he's got the ball there in the defensive zone by reading the play very well. Mora. 
Still searching for an equaliser. With some real chance. Well, there's the equaliser. And a really good start to the game. It's always thrilling when both teams show that they can score in a match. I wonder where we'll go from here. He will say he had to be there to score it, and that's true. But once he was there, he couldn't miss it. Well, a lot of those defenders wondering where their goalkeeper was, but I think in this instance you can't blame him. So away we go at one all. Portland Timbers goal, number 17, Jeremy Ibobisi. Xiao. Terrific tackle. K. Xiao. And the ball glued to his boots. Can he set himself now? Oh, well, he couldn't make the most of that chance. It's a goal kick. And here's the replay again. Yeah, pretty simple finish. Keeper was in no man's land and couldn't really miss. <laughs> K. Xiao. Well, here he goes. It's good to see him. He's in here. And the keeper's pulled that one out of the bag. The manager just trying to get his message across down there. They weren't far off taking the lead there. They're playing pretty well. Corner's taken. That's frustrating to the coaches to see a corner there defended at the front post so easily. There's a cut back on. Just cleared downfield, not a proper pass, because the pressure is so intense. Xiao. Wants to get at him, and it has to score. Well, it looked a chance. But it's ended rather tamely as a goal kick. Morera. Paradise. Here's a chance to just stretch the opposition with a bit of width. Oh, they've shown him the inside. Not really getting the radar right from that kind of position. Well, he's getting some daggers from his teammates there. Valeri. Bit of space to go forward into with the ball. Kenneth Vermeer is the goalkeeper, comfortably dealing with that. You'd still expect them to win, but I do feel they've got to switch it up a gear to start asking more questions of the opposing defence. Xiao. Left the defenders trailing now, here's a chance. Can he do it? The ball's loose. Goalkeeper made the save, but he couldn't hold it. Well, frustration from the manager, but by the same token, his team are playing well. They might have gone ahead there, but they'll get another chance. Well, a lot can happen in four minutes. That's what we've got of added time. Four minutes of added time. Ciao. Excellent attacking play here. They could open up the opposition now. And that's the half-time whistle from the referee. 1-1 at the break. 
Well, the player that we're featuring here has done well. He's certainly been an influence on this first half. Well, his team haven't been on what you would describe as top form, but uh, he came good when they were struggling a bit, got them on level terms. Which way is it going to go now? They've got to make a substitution now for this fella because he's definitely hurt. They can't stop him. And he's opened the scoring with a... And here we go, the referee's blown his whistle and we're off for the second half. Mora. Oh, time to get the cross now. Oh, an important interception that. Taking on the opposition and the risk. Guiding the pass through. Vela. Can he shoot? Great goalkeeper. Great save. Well, he shouldn't have had a prayer there, but he's so agile, this keeper. In goes the corner. And the referee looks to his assistant, who's got the flag up. It's offside. That's not so much an interception as a poor pass. An opportunity here. There's some space to work the ball into. Can go in from here. What a chance to take the lead. That was a puff out your cheeks moment and phew, got away with it. It's going to make a change and it's clearly a tactical one. There doesn't seem to be any injury involved. A chance to play it into the centre now. They couldn't stop him the first time, they haven't stopped him the second time. And he's leading his team in the best possible way with two goals today. Well, I know they've been working on this all week long, Martin, and boy, has it paid dividends. Lovely finish. Let's have another peek at that goal. Off we go again, 2-1. Goal for the hosts, number seven. Right, Phillips. Blessing. Still got a bit to do, but this is promising. Space for the shot. And he scores. Three of the best. He's made them pay. And that completes a wonderful hat-trick. Well, no wonder he's wheeling away in a super celebration. To get a hat-trick is a fantastic experience, and he's just done that. Well, having scored two, he was just so full of confidence, and he never looked like missing that chance. Well, I know this manager's been working hard on the training ground on a certain shape, and boy, is he getting results out there. Three one the scoreline as we restart Goal the game. For the hosts, number seven, Latif Blessing. A bit predictable with the passing and the opposition able to deal with that. That's a good challenge. Good vision.
Such a well-crafted goal, this. Lovely vision to find the pass, and what a tidy finish. Different angle on it here. Well, it's great when a plan comes together, and the manager doubly delighted with the way his team are playing. Well, we're underway again, and you just wonder how many more they can get today. Paradis. Here's Diego Valeri. Made sure the pass wasn't completed. So we're coming down now towards the last 15 minutes. Promising forward play from them again. Space to try and hit it now. Well, they managed to get out of harm's way then because it looked as though there was going to be some real damage done to them. Well, Alan, here's the substitution now. Well, he's done his bit. He got the goal that put his team in the lead. Can they hold that lead? Well, that will be the goalkeeper's ball as they tried to get a runner in behind the opposition's defensive line. Okay. Manager thinking for the away side, time for a change. Can finish it off. Good vision, played over the back of the defenders. And a goal! Oh, talk about a dramatic appearance there from the substitute. Brilliant goal from him. That's beautifully done for the goal. Well, I think he's picked him out from that left-hand side. Wonderful delivery. Really accurate cross. And we can see a slightly different viewpoint on it. Well, we're in the last few minutes now, and the die has been cast in this game really now it's five minutes to go it's a very good interception teammates getting out of the way because they know he can dribble it here real opening now well, there's one for him to chase in behind oh it's a brilliant volley it deserved better just clipping the frame of the goal oh the crowd enjoyed that one on the feet i think he thought he'd scored with it And the uh, fourth official has held up the board to say four more minutes. Ciao. And the referee brings it to a halt. What a brilliant performance from this fella. He was so sharp in front of goal. Not every day you uh, grab yourself a hat-trick. No wonder he's laughing. His manager, too, will be doubly pleased with that win. Still searching for an equaliser. There's some good interplay here. Well, there's the equaliser. And a really good start to the game. It's always thrilling when both teams show that they... A chance to play it into the centre now. couldn't stop him the first time they haven't stopped him the second time and he's leading his team in the best possible way with two space for the shot and he scores three of the best he's made them pay and that completes a wonderful hat trick
finish it off. Good vision played over the back of the defenders. And a goal. Oh, talk about a dramatic appearance there from the substitute. Yeah.